Melissa Rose, Angela from Sleepaway Camp. And I just want you to know that you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Yeah! Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have my February unboxing of Vinegar Syndrome, you know, the part of the uh, subscription and everything. Some partner labels in here. Not too much, I'll be honest, but I got some things. Um, I'm still sick. I do not have COVID anymore, but uh, I have a sinus infection, so right now my ears are blocked. Both of them are blocked completely. It's like a, as if I have my fingers in my ears. Uh, it's really really bad uh more more annoying than anything but uh other than that i feel fine uh blow my nose here and there you know normal shit but uh yeah so i'll show everybody what i got here and uh the first one here i actually watched this last night and it's eat brains love uh it's like a kind of like on the lines of like warm bodies uh you know it's just a different take on zombies and uh the way this ends, there's definitely like a sequel, possibly a trilogy. I'm not sure. There might this might be a book. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I, I believe there is another movie. So hopefully, um, this is from Gunpowder and Sky. Hopefully they put another you know part two out or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. It, it it's not. They try to be funny, but it's not that funny. You know. But uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. The, uh, it's pretty gory. Um, interesting, like I said, different take on zombies. But it's not amazing. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel like I wasted my time watching it. But yeah, Eat Brains Love. It's not bad. Um, I like the cover on The cover is really nice. But I'm not a really big fan of that. It's kind of, eh. But whatever. Yeah, the cast is pretty cool. You know, they're, they're likable. It's just... It's not like, I don't know, it's like uh, the lines are weird in it, like forced in a way. I don't know. Like they're trying to be too funny and it's not coming off as funny. And another one here, I actually watched this last night. It was the first time in a while that I watched, like since I watched this. And uh, I, I, I would say it's not as good as I remember, but I still liked it. Um, and that's Biozombie. This is a fantastic addition. Really great artwork. I love the colors and everything in it. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool kind of zombie movie. Um, another zombie movie, actually. I didn't realize that, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, you got the other side here. Uh, I, I, I do like the movie, but I don't think it's as good as I remembered it to be. Great artwork, though. Fantastic. That's a cool kill right there. That's another thing, too. I feel like it could have been more gorier, you know? Like, it was gory, but, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe this could have been, like, another edition where uh, it got was just bloodier. But whatever. But, yeah. It was it was cool. It was it was cool. It's, uh... I don't know. Did they ever make another part to this? Because there's actually an alternate ending on here. And, uh... It doesn't matter. It could still be another movie. Either way, the way the movie ends. Um, but I like the original ending better than the alternate take. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's it's a really nice addition. I believe subscribers got this case, that, um, this sliding case or whatever. I'm not sure. I, I, I think it said something like subscribers get an extra surprise. And I believe that was it. I don't know. But yeah, Bio Zombie. So there's that one. And the next one I haven't seen. I had the Blu ray to this, but I never watched it. And then the 4K came out, so I upgraded it to it. It's a really, really nice slipcover, but I heard nothing good about the movie Massage Parlor Murders. And I like this slipcover. They're, they seem to be using this artist a lot. Uh, I, I don't know if a lot is the word, but like. I've seen it before. I think in another movie in here, in this stack, there's another one that did it. But uh, it's the 4K, actually, Massage Parlor Murders. So, yeah, that. I didn't watch this yet. Um, I might. 
I, uh, maybe tonight, I don't know. But I've heard nothing good, so I'm nervous to watch it. But it is a really nice slip cover. You see it kind of glossy on the hand there, you know. Um, I feel like they're kind of getting lazy with, like, the gluing these. I don't know. It just, like, doesn't look right to me, some of them. I think they're getting a little sloppy. Um, but this is another one. I, I really don't think this is a cool slipcover at all. Um, it, like, doesn't really make me want to watch the movie, even though I did watch it last, last night as well. Uh, the Devonsville Terror. And uh, this has Donald Pleasance in it, so if you're a fan of Donald Pleasance, it's about witches. And then, like, 300 years later, they think these uh, three witches that were burned, well, not just burned back in the day, are back to exact their revenge and shit. Uh, but, like, look at that image. That is terrifying. <laughs> when this, It's pretty scary looking. Like, uh, But very brutal. Very brutal. Like, they hooked the one girl up to a wheel and then they set fire to it and roll it down like a hill it's it's insane they have like these pigs eat the one girl it's like brutal like they don't like exactly show it but you can imagine and and they're screaming in pain and everything it's like oh my god but yeah the Devonsville terror it's okay um Donald Pleasance of course is great in it and I, I feel like I wanted him more in it. And as much as rewatchability, I could, I'd probably watch it again someday. But, like, it's not like, when, oh, that's so good, I have to watch it right away. But, yeah, Devonsville Terror. Um, eh, it's okay. Uh, I never heard of it before until now. But, uh, yeah, it's, it is what it is. You know, it's a, it's a, a witch movie. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, and then here we have, this is the, um, another one, Goodbye 20th Century. Eh, the cover's okay. It said, like, a, I didn't watch this one yet. It's a post-apocalyptic movie, from what it sounds like. But, like, it's, like, really weird. It's, like, the year 2019. And there's, like, it says it's a dystopian wasteland, a group of neurotic or nomadic uh, marauders attempt to execute a man named Cousman as he believes he is responsible for the death of the children in their tribe and he meets somebody else and there's like this Santa Claus impersonator who's like I don't know he's crazy or something it, it's it just sounds really weird I don't know if it's like a real like a uh, you know I love post apocalyptic post apocalyptic movies I don't know if it's a serious one or not you know seems like it's like a joke especially with the santa and then there's like this one image on here you probably can't see if it, it's like i don't know what that is if it's done in like a monty python style maybe i'd enjoy it but like i'm really like kind of like dreading to watch this and kind of want to put it last but uh yeah i'm hoping for the best with this one but like again i didn't even open it yet uh so i'll get to it eventually i'm just really nervous to watch that one um, but then here we go. Uh, this is one of the partner labels I got. It's this culture shock. I always get culture shock no matter what, even when it's like a, this movie. Um, I actually have, um, contributed to this movie and, um, I got my copy and everything and I couldn't finish it. I'll be honest. It's terrible. Like it was a terrible, terrible movie. And, um, I, this, I won't. Uh, this will just stay closed and everything. I just got it because I have all the other Culture Shock. Uh, except for like the couple DVDs that they have. But yeah, this this is not, uh, it's not good. I don't know, maybe it gets better. But I watched about half of it and I just, I couldn't finish the rest. But uh, the artwork, I don't know if I really like this artwork. It, it's kind of, kind of childish and kind of ugly. I guess it works on some levels, but like, I don't know. And it's supposed to be a post-apocalyptic kind of movie. And I also got it because, like, Linnea Quigley's in it. Um, a couple other people. I can't read it right now. It's too dark. Uh, Aaron Brown is in it. Allison Egan is another reason I got it. Uh, but, you know, there's a couple other familiar faces. I want to support them, which I'm glad I did. But the movie is it's just not good. I, don't, I do not recommend it. But, uh, 
you know, if you're a diehard Linnea Quigley fan, I guess get it. I don't know. I can't tell you what to do, but, you know. And why did you get it then, Tony? Because I have every culture shock and I just have it. I had to get it. So there's that. Uh, and then the next one here we have, this is a Pika Rama, number 18. And this is the Double Exposure of Holly. I don't know why I still get Pika Rama. I guess because I have pretty much all of them. So I just keep on getting them. Um, nothing really. I haven't watched these. You know, I haven't honestly watched most of them. <laughs> They're just kind of there if I ever want to. Uh, but yeah, the double exposure of Holly. And who was in this? Uh, Catherine Burgess, Terry Hall, Annie Sprinkle, Bobby S. Dyer, Jamie Gillis, and Bree Anthony. So... Yeah, you got that. So there, there's that one. That's an adult film. And this one uh, is actually the slip cover. I don't know why they went with this slip cover. It is terrible. It is so ugly. Uh, her name was Lisa. And then, like, look at the back. Like, the movie's not bad. Like, look at the original cover on here. That's awesome. I mean, it's not awesome, but it's way better than the other one. You got Vanessa Del Rio, Samantha Fox, Bobby Astire, uh, from 1979. Um, this is the first and most popular erotic feature directed by Roger Watkins, Last House on Dead End Street. So, yeah, it's it's from what I remember, it was it wasn't that bad, but that slipcover is terrible. It's it's a terrible slipcover. Even the other one, her her name was Torment or whatever. It's like the same style. It's terrible. There, it's just a ugly ugly looking slip cover but i had the movie and i got the slip so i already had the movie like i should i said but then this one um i believe this one has two of them on here it's another pika rama so this is number 19 so this is a great slip cover body girls and then let's get physical i believe there's two movies um yeah or it's just body girls let's get no there's two <laughs> Body Girls and Let's Get Physical. Uh, you got Haya, I don't know how you say her name, Haya Patia Lee. Uh, there's other names, I don't want to butcher them. But, like, yeah, this is a great cover. Awesome. Very nice. Look at the side pops out at you. Nice colors there. Let's Get Physical. And this side's pink. It's really, really nice. It's a nice, it's a nice slip cover. Um, you know, if you're into girls or guys working out, you know, in, in your, in your adult films, well, this look no further, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's all I got this month. I do. I, it is actually March already. It's March 2nd as I'm recording this, but I do have, um, Yesterday, the new newer uh, stuff came out, so I do have some things coming from that. It will be coming from that. Um, so, yeah, it, it uh, it's a it's gonna be more than this, I believe. But uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to. That. I'm I'm, act, I'm watching some movies. I watched three movies last night, which maybe that's not a lot to some people, but to me, I was like, it's pretty crazy to actually sit down and watch them all. But uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to watch next. But uh, I'm glad I'm checking these out. Uh, nothing too impressive. But, uh, you know, not a waste of time, I guess. So, yeah, that's that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Which one of these would you watch first? And um, what did you think of any of the ones I talked about? Did you like them? Did you hate them? Did you not care? <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you uh, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, you know, and uh, check out my other links below. Donate to my channel, um, you know. So that's it. Thanks, everybody, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.